Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ritika. I'm a beauty content creator based in Chennai, and today I'm going to be reviewing Juicy Chemistry because they sent me a bunch of products. I've decided I want to do a lot of these like review sort of videos that are longer than reels but short YouTube videos. I don't know. I'm gonna like try and make this work because I really want to take YouTube seriously. Let's hope that I can. I don't want to make any excuses and be like I was busy, I was tired whatever i go through stuff and then i just completely forget about youtube so that's basically what happened we're going to be reviewing a bunch of base makeup from juicy chemistry they sent me this it was supposed to be for a collaboration but it ended up not working out there are some things i really love and some things i don't so let's get right into it this is just called just color chemistry foundation it's a new luminous natural finish that's what they say right out of the bat let's talk about the shade range the shade range is amazing for a small business and a a lot of brands in India do not launch shades so the fact that they even have shades that are darker than me and both of these are darker than me I'll show you guys a swatch I have the shades malt and peanut both of these are darker for my skin tone at the moment if I'm a little bit more tan maybe peanut will work for me but right now my skin is like completely no tan and much much lighter than I was here from what I was like last year I don't know what's happening maybe it's all the vitamin C and sunscreen so that's why I didn't use it all over my face I just applied it um, as like a contour which I have been enjoying I've been using the shade malt as like a subtle contour underneath my foundation and it seems to be working really well for me it says it's a luminous natural finish i disagree with that it's not a natural finish it's almost full coverage it's medium to full coverage i don't think it is a natural skin tint like foundation it is definitely going to give you the coverage so if you have acne spots if you have um you know dark spots or unevenness it's definitely going to cover that up i actually think that it's best applied with your fingers it just i, I don't know somehow melts with your fingers and gives you this beautiful airbrush look but it does tend to increase the coverage so when you use your fingers you have more coverage but when you use a brush or a sponge obviously you're going to have lesser coverage it's a whipped sort of thick texture but i also want to touch upon the packaging the packaging is phenomenal the formula is really really nice it's something much more elevated so this is not your typical drugstore formula like a Maybelline or a Lakme it is definitely more elevated it just sort of melts into your skin and even though it has a lot of coverage it doesn't look like too makeupy. it does have the tendency to look like that if you apply way too much so it's definitely like a full coverage foundation guys that's what I'm trying to say it's really nice it comes with a pump it's a glass bottle with a wooden sort of um, cap and this is what the foundation looks like it looks like a formula that is not made in India Country of origin, Czech Republic, beautiful. It is from the Czech Republic, it's not from India. So I can totally tell because the formula is, ju it just feels so lush and luxe. I think this works with most skin types. You just have to figure out what kind of base product to use before using this. So I would not use anything too emollient. Thing, but otherwise it's a great foundation. I just wish it ha I had my shade because otherwise I would be using this all the time. So I would use this on an like, everyday basis if i'm working in corporate or something because i know i'm going to be in the ac for a long time so it's nice for that but otherwise if you are looking for like a full budge proof bulletproof foundation this is not it so just letting you guys know it's not a bad foundation by any means it's just it's just a preference thing so if you like that type of thing then you should definitely check out that foundation next up i have the concealers the concealers come in a pencil packaging so you have to purchase this you have to purchase this so <laughs> you have to purchase the sharpener separately so um i'm very lucky they actually sent me the sharpener so but you have to buy it and it's like 300 rupees or something if you can get it on health and glow or something just get it don't you don't have to get the specific one from juicy chemistry uh but just make sure that it's meant for a bigger pencil so initially i was very skeptical about this pencil situation and i have used this even last year and when i used it last time i liked it but i wasn't really reaching out for it that much because it just wasn't crease proof so that is my only complaint it is not crease proof it will definitely crease even if you set it really well it does crease around my eyes um, after like three to four hours maximum so it does crease but it gives you good coverage it is buildable and it is perfect for spot correction if you have any redness or if you want something that's more natural that doesn't look like 
you just shellacked some makeup on top then this is perfect for that it is again more of that emollient sort of a texture if you can hear like someone snoring in the background it is my dog my dog is snoring in the background i'm really sorry I have the shades uh prairie bamboo and almond my shade would be prairie i would use bamboo to like sort of brighten up if i needed to i personally think that these concealers are better blended with your fingers um and if i were to pick between the foundation and concealer i would pick the concealer just because it is a lot more easier to work with you have extremely oily skin and you have a lot of texture and if you're more like if you have like mature skin then i would not recommend this foundation it's too emollient and too creamy of a concealer for that but if you have normal dry skin or even combination skin i think these are perfect and also if you're a beginner and you find it difficult to apply or you know place the concealer then i think this is really nice it's nice that it is in a pencil form 100 recommend this if you are looking for a new concealer also i would highly recommend going to the store and then getting yourself color matched because it's more likely that you're going to get your shade in the store rather than online because a lot of the shades seem to be out of stock online so that's just something to note and again the shade range is great i am hoping to see more shades in the complexion area because i know that they have a good formula on hand and if they bring out more shades then more inclusivity for us so but so far i think they are doing a really good job like josie chemistry is doing a really good job when it comes to you know makeup because when they launched they already had like a full range of foundation and concealer so that's great uh, not a lot of brands do that the next thing i have is the baked compact this is a new product for me i've never tried this i didn't even know that they had like a powder first things first i love love this powder it makes your skin look blurred out literally blurs out every single pore and you can see that difference like from left to right as you can see when i applied it is it going to elongate the wear time of your makeup probably not it is just sort of a setting powder that blurs your skin that adds another layer of powder so that you can you know wear it throughout the day definitely gives a little bit of coverage so make sure you get a shade that is suitable for you the shade that i have is the shade tbc07 it is a really nice compact it's also baked That's why you have this sort of dome shape um a lot of compacts that are baked tend to perform really well and meant to be sort of like a natural finish I totally understand why they did this again formula is phenomenal on this powder on this compact i did not expect it to like it so much it says it's a satin matte finish it does go matte i think that's the reason why it doesn't lock your makeup in the way i would love for it to it also comes with its own little powder puff i would highly recommend using a powder puff with this if you want coverage you can also use this on its own if you are a powder foundation person but the only main issue i have with this is the packaging it is badly packaged you guys i just wish it was like an open type thing because when you close it the cardboard on the side sort of like bends and then it becomes very difficult for me to press it down and then remove it that is my major issue so i have this open at all times which is not fun i would love to travel with this but this is not travel friendly nor is it uh purse friendly uh, which sort of defeats the purpose of a compact so i would recommend it if you're going to use your makeup like me like if, if you if you have like a vanity and you're just going to use it at your vanity then this is great but i don't know if it's a fault on my side where the way i maybe closed it or opened it i don't really know i found this very difficult to open as well so my only issue is with the packaging if they change the packaging this is 100% going to be on my top 10 for powder last thing i have from juicy chemistry or the color chemistry i keep forgetting that color chemistry is different from juicy chemistry but anyway it's from juicy chemistry right you get the point this is the color chemistry lip and cheek crayon i love this for the lips not so much for the cheeks just because i feel like it's too pigmented for the cheeks so if you are going to use this on your cheek i would recommend taking a palette or putting it on the back of your hand then tapping it with a brush and putting it on your face i didn't do that today because i felt like it was not going to go with my look um but it is a beautiful color the color that i have is rosewood i believe is it rosewood yeah it's a, it's the shade rosewood my friend varshini gifted this to me and then the brand gifted it to me so i have two of these i gave one of this to my mom because she loves this color this type of a color it's so beautiful it's like a berry toned red that is almost terracotta i don't even know how to explain it but it's beautiful well it's super pigmented it stays on your lips it does not crack it does not 
you know pull or any anything like that it is a perfect lip crayon that is comfortable it is not extremely matte so you're not going to get that super matte sort of it just sucks every single bit of moisture that you have on your lips it doesn't do that it is really really creamy but it still looks like a matte lipstick as you can see i highly recommend this if you're looking for um something quick and easy and you want to carry it in your purse because this is super lightweight it's not the same weight as a normal lipstick this is like a normal lip oil lipstick it's a little bit more heavier so this is like super 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 lightweight it also touches up really well so i like that but if you eat a lot then obviously it's gonna like move around a little bit but that's but that's just one con i love this i highly recommend it if you can find a shade that you like just get it i also love the shade range i think they have something for everyone that is it for today's video that was everything about juicy chemistry let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you want any other reviews like this i will be sure to do it don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and i'll see you guys next time okay bye